Hello and welcome to my next tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to get this carbon fiber material in Octane Render. Before we start, I want you to go to the description where you will find a direct download link to those two textures, which are Carbon Normal Map and Carbon Mask, which are essential to this material. Now we can start making our material. Go to the Create, Extension, see for the Octane, Octane Material, and apply the material to your object. Double click at your material, click at the Node Editor, we can close the Material Editor here. And in Node Editor, you want to click at your material, go to the Basic, change Material Type to Universal, and BRDF Model to GGX Energy Preserving. Now let's go to the Albedo, change it to 15% Brightness, then head to the Roughness and type in 0.5. Next is Anisotropy and change it to 1. And Coating Layer change the Coating to 1 and Coating EOR to 2. And at last change the EOR Material to 2. Now we can start making the pattern of the carbon fiber. We'll start from adjusting the Anisotropy direction. So if you want to change the direction of the Anisotropy, you can use this slider and it will change between the vertical and horizontal. We can see it better if we turn off the coating for now. And as you can see it's now horizontal here and here is vertical but we can't really apply any texture to it instead we can apply texture to rotation which will work the same way so if we for example add the rgb spectrum to rotation here go all the way up to white uh, we have horizontal anisotropy and if we go down we have again horizontal which means if we go into the middle we get our vertical anisotropy here now we want to apply our two textures just select them and drop them into the node editor Connect the carbon mask with the rotation, add transform to it, connect the transform also to the second texture, and cell node the mask. Now go to the transform and change the scale of it till it looks fine on your object. For me it will be 0.03. You can now disable cell node, add octane gradient between the rotation and carbon mask. Change the black slider to 15% and click OK. Now apply carbon normal map to normal. Now we can see our material is almost done, especially if we turn on the coating layer back. It looks fine from the distance, but when we zoom in, we don't get our visible fibers on the pattern. So to add those fibers, we will need to add octane noise and connect to the bump. Let's cell note the noise, add the transform and scale it till we see the noise. Uncheck the log aspect ratio and scale it up. You can check it back now and scale it down further. And if we disable cell node, we can see our fibers on the material, although it's quite too dense and only going one direction. So we need to add mix to it add it here and connect the noise to the texture one. Now we want to select both transform and noise, click control and drag it to the bottom and connect it to the texture two. In this texture, you want to change in transform rotation Z to 90 degree and apply the mask to the amount. As we can see, now it goes two direction, depends on the mask and the pattern. To change the density of the fibers, you want to select both of the noise and lower the power. Now you can adjust noise further to your taste. Once you are happy with your fibers, you can zoom out and we can see that now it looks great from the distance and when we zoom in. The last step will be to make the clear coat looks a bit more realistic. So we can click at this triangle here next to the coating layer. Here we have the coating roughness and coating bump. Let's add noise to the coating bump, the octane noise, and let's zoom in. Let's add the transform to the noise and let's scale it down, lower down power of noise and we can tweak those settings to our taste. Once you are happy with the noise settings, we can apply it mix after it. Change the noise to the texture one and add image texture to second texture. And we'll apply random texture of the scratches here. Let's add the transform here and cell node the scratches. Let's scale it down and let's disable the cell node. Let's now we'll go to the scratches texture and invert it since we want the scratches to be black so they go inward. Let's now go to the mix texture and change the amount till we get correct look of it. This looks fine for me. Now I'll add second texture to the roughness. Again I'm using Using random texture from the internet. I'll add the transform here and lower it down. Now I'll add octane gradient here after the texture so I can adjust the contrast of the texture. Okay, this looks okay for me. Let's zoom out and we have our carbon fiber material ready to use. If we zoom in, we have all of the uh, clear coat details here. And if we zoom even more, we have our fibers. If we zoom out, we have our cool looking pattern. And I think that's it for this tutorial. Hope you find it entertaining even though it was quite short. Be sure to subscribe. My goal here is to upload one video every week. So this will definitely help you be up to date with my tutorials. Also, you can follow me up on the Instagram, where usually I'm posting what next tutorial will be about. And I think that's it. See ya!